guys this is my new tutorial on Hackintosh and today I'm gonna tell you why Hackintosh usually shut downs and sometimes re random rebooting occurs and as well I'm gonna tell you why some of the USB slots that does not work on your Hackintosh so the most basic part is you can use multi based and I will tell you what you can do and this is for uh, all of all of you using Hackintosh out there uh, it can be on x99 chipset or it can be on x70 oh not x z97 h97 h81 to h87 so the first thing is if uh, your USB are working without this and let me zoom in working without this USB 3.0 universal so then does not use this this can cause your random rebooting so as a, a friend of mine asked me okay, why I'm having random reboots so the main cause of random reboots is you are using USB 3.0 universal and without that uh, your 3.0 system works so what Mac OS X does it, it loads both of it your 3.0 the native drivers that Apple Apple one which are working which are already working on your Hackintosh and you are using the USB 3.0 universal drivers so this contradict in the system and whenever you insert or unplug a USB from your USB port the system uh, restarts so what you have to do for your restart is basically for the first option try to remove USB 3.0 universal settings this is must and for those who are having a problem using USB 3.0 they should try to use this thing as their first way to get all of their USB 3.0 ports working I think 95% of the people out there they got USB 2.0 working out default they does not need to install anything but USB 3.0 does do an error so uh, let me tell you how to install you can use a multi beast any of the multi beast will work on any of the OS X uh, models from 10.8 to 10.11 right now I'm using 10.10.1 .10 which is El Capitan you can see that and now let's move you can click and then you can install now you can use Vietnam, Vietnam. I think they call it Vietnam. And if your multi beast is not working, you open your Vietnam. And I think I have already one open. Now I double clicked. So continue. And Vietnam is really nice app for those who are beginners, and it really it's a really nice though. All right, let me change a few the settings of my display. I'm having random. Uh, Oops, wait a second. So now we go to Vietnam and continue. Continue. I agree with them. And now in text, you move down to USB 3.0, open it. And here are a few of the USB 3.0 options. Options. This is more than the. Um, um, multi beast provide you and they give you four different types of it and the details are written down there you can use the one uh, the one on the top is the the multi beast provide that generic USB as XHC one and then you get non Intel USB 3.0 for those who have chipset which are not affiliated with Intel uh, such as AMD and other then as media and then you go XHC Max. So install, and you can see some of the details down there. Do not use with generic USB. And if you use, you might get random reboots or your system does not boot in. Once you got all of your USB working, then we have to figure out what is causing uh, your systems to shut down randomly. I do once or twice had that problem, but most of them. Uh, it works without it. So right now I'm using El Capitan and I don't can't go directly to my f uh, system folder. So I have used I have to use the command sh a shift G. Oh my God! Yes. 
so system library extension we go there and there we will find if you are using generic USB or not and right now you can see I'm not using generic USB universal USB which they call G E N E O I C G E N E O I C yeah so you saw that I have been not using any and I got my old USB ports working on my ASUS Z97 Pro Gamer so this can cause a reboot if your USB is working without it alright and now we move to our Clover and we go to the end and we open go to Clover configurator and a wait a second and now what you have to do is you have to mount your EFI partition if you are using an EFI system so we go to mount and I go my first drive so now you go to uh, home and mount this one EFI EFI Clover EFI one of my friend was asking which one do he need to use you have to use the most simple one the EFI EFI Clover config dot P L I S T P list they call it do not use this one which includes system product name or OEM or Clover uh, OEM and system Pro. use this one so that's the basic the main one we go we click away and now we go settings and here you can see I have clicked fix USB this can fix your USB easily and I hope it will work for you and I think there is another way as well yeah we go to boot options we go to CPU device yeah here here if you're having us any random stuff with your USB if they stop working while like on boot up they work and after that that doesn't work then you can use inject and then you can use fix ownership and add clock ID add clock ID also prevent your system from random sleep ups and flip downs uh, I mean sleeps wake ups and sleep yeah so that's all for your USB working stuff and for your random reboots and shutdowns that's all thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed please do subscribe my channel that will support me I will be able to make new videos for all of you and let me know in the comments below if the video was helpful if I need something to be improved I will be really glad and that's all do leave a thumbs up down there hope you guys enjoyed Take care, Allah Hafiz.